Good morning. I am James Donnelly, an engineer from Delta Marine Consultants, a marine and coastal design engineering consultancy, which is part of Royal Bound Group. Today, I'll be giving a presentation about the new interlocking uniformly placed armor unit Xbox Plus, which has been developed by DMC. Most breakwaters are built with randomly placed single layer army units, as these are the most cost efficient. These army units, such as X block, are placed on a staggered grid with varying random orientations. The interaction between neighbouring army units is generally called interlocking. DMC noticed through the past 15 years of experience with X block the desire for an interlocking block which could be placed in a regularly placed pattern. Currently, most regularly placed blocks are stable due to friction. A regularly placed single layer interlocking army unit would allow for easier placement for crane operators along with increasing both placement time, time and efficiency. Today I will discuss about the uh, Xbox Plus unit and the presentation will cover the objectives of development, hydraulic stability, carbon footprint, placement method and a bit about the Aphrodite project. Here you can see the Xbox uh, unit um, side by side with the Xbox Plus unit. So the Xbox unit has uh, four legs and two noses, while the Xbox Plus unit has uh, a nose, a tail, and two wings. So the objectives of the Xbox Plus development. So the development of the uniformly placed Xbox Plus focused on the following. Uh, regular placement to enhance constructability, resilience to climate change, uh, efficient material use, so low carbon uh, footprint, as well as a strong interlocking and structural performance to ensure a robust single layer armor protection. So a number of physical model tests have been carried out so far in the development of the Xbox Plus. These have been carried out to look at various aspects of the block, slowly optimizing and developing its hydraulic stability capabilities. This including 2D flume tests at DMC's wave flume, to test uh, and optimise the hydraulic performance, testing for uneven rock layers and holes in Xbox Plus armour, and 3D tests at the Francois Institute Hanover to test for oblique wave attack and curved sections, as well as one in three scale model testing at the Delta Flume of Deltaris, which involved one year of testing multiple sections for the Athletite project. So the results for the hydraulic stability tested in the various 2D and 3D physical model tests are summarized in the figure below. Based on the tests, based on the tests carried out, there is no indication of significant influence of wave steepness of bleak wave attack on the stability performance of, of the Xbox Plus Army units. Even with design overload conditions of up to 225% of design wave heights, no damage occurred. Despite that the stability observed in the model test is very high, DMC has chosen to apply a design stability number of 2.5. So based on numerous scale model tests carried out, allowing for the intrinsic safety in design. It is important to know that during the, the test, no rocking was observed. As no rocking uh, is observed, the risk of unreinforced concrete army unit breaking in prototype projects is reduced. So now we move on to a bit about the carbon footprint. So compared to other concrete blocks, there are less emissions during the production and placement due to reduced concrete qu uh, quantity and number of blocks required to be placed. Less emissions due to less maintenance. Blocks are reusable at the end of the lifetime due to the high safety factor and no rocking. So in the Aphrodite project, 56% reduction in CO2 emissions as compared to uh, using single layer cubes. A comparison study has been carried out between Xbox Plus and a rock revetment slope for a project in the south of UK to investigate the costs of the CO2 emissions and resilience to climate change for Xbox Plus army in armor compared to natural rock. So the starting, uh, in starting points included equivalent structures of rock and Xbox Plus regarding overtopping and stability, inputs for unit prices and materials, installation and CO2 emissions for material production, transport and installation are shown in the tables on the right. Uh, Monte Carlo simulations were carried out to calculate the maintenance requirements and resilience of the structures to increase wave heights in the next 50 years, as well as looking forward 100 years. The design cross sections can be seen on the right for rock and equivalent Xbox Plus cross sections. Assumed design conditions can be seen listed down on the left, so a significant wave height of 3 metres. 
So equal overtopping is considered for both designs. Uh, Monte Carlo simulations to calculate maintenance requirements and resilience of the structure to increased wave heights in the next 50 years. The Monte Carlo simulations conducted simulate the 50 year lifetime of each structure, draw one extreme event per year and determine damage progression for each storm. So the Monte Carlo simulation with 1000 runs has been conducted and the results provide the probability of repair and the expected number of repair operations needed in 50 years. In addition, the same analysis is also performed uh, with a future wave climate, so 2115, showing the resilience of the two structures against climate change. So here you can see uh, the chart on the right, which indicates the 2015 and the 2115 wave height distributions for different return periods. Um, the below charts display the, the results of the Monte Carlo simulation runs and summary pie charts. As can be seen from the results, the Xbox Plus protected breakwater, uh, the no, no repairs are required to the armour as no damage has occurred for both the climate change and non-climate change situations. However, for the rock slope, climate change, uh, without climate change, mainly one repair is acquired and sometimes two through the lifetime of the structure. For the climate change situation, it can be seen that there is a significant increase of the number of repairs required. In summary, the resilience of Xbox Plus due to increasing wave climate can be seen clearly here. So the following ta uh, tables summarise the costs and CO2 emissions for the Xbox Plus and Rock Solution comparison. It can be seen that there will be a substantial cost saving in terms of material and thus cost by using Xbox Plus rather than Rock due to being able to use a four in three slope and having a single layer armor compared to a thicker rock layer. So the CO2 also per linear meter is also 28% less, which is quite a substantial. So now I'll talk a bit about the placement method. So conventionally placement of the single layer arm unit X block is conducted utilizing either an excavator or a crane with a sling and a quick release hook guided by GPS coordinates to install the unit in the correct location. However, with Xbox Plus units, placement can be conducted with a specially developed hydraulic gripper. This is possible due to the hole in the center of the Xbox Plus units, which serves a dual purpose. One, it reduces the water pressure buildup at the base of the unit, increasing the stability. And two, it serves as a lifting point for the hydraulic gripper, increasing placement rates and handability. Another significant advantage of this placement arrangement is that no workers are needed outside on the breakwater to wrap a sling around the blocks to be placed. This may improve safety and cost efficiency of the placement process of the army units on the breakwater. So now I'll share a bit of information about the Aflodite project. So this is the first uh, project using Xbox Plus units. So for this project, however, it's under the name of Level Block. Uh, the Aflodite or Closure Dam is in the north of the Netherlands. It is about 30 kilometres long and protects the low-lying northern parts of the Netherlands from flooding due to storms in the North Sea. It was first complete in 1932 and currently it has been upgraded and strengthened due to climate change, rising sea levels and expected stronger storms. Xbox Plus or Level Block is applied along the full length uh, so, 70, so in total, we're around 75,000 numbers of 2.5 meter cube export plus units. For the project, the block is under the name of uh, Level Block, and it has been chosen for its aesthetic appearance, safety, efficiency, and the fact that it looks like uh, the look remains like a dike due to the smooth appearance of the export plus armoring unit. One in three scale modeling tests. Testing has been carried out at the Delta Flume for over a year for a number of different of dike sections. I will go through a few slides showing the production and placement uh, on one of the first constructed sections of the dike. A production facility uh, has been set up near the dike uh, where 75,000 export plus arm units will be produced. It is an automated process allowing a significant number of blocks to be produced each day. So this is a picture showing the production facility and the storage yard. Here it can be seen the molds uh, that are on the production belt and uh, block securing also on the production belt on the left. 
Here you can see the process of demolding along the production line in these three images. Uh, this is the image from the of the storage yard where blocks are stacked in the storage yard six high with an overhead crane equipped with the hydraulic gripper. The blocks are then loaded onto barges and towed to the section of dike which is currently being constructed. The blocks are placed on the prepared underlayer from uh, both from sea barges with an excavator and the specially developed hydraulic gripper, as well as some some blocks have been placed from the land side uh, above at the top of the water, uh, breakwater slope. Here shows the placement of the blocks uh, via land-based excavators, uh, also with the hydraulic gripper. Uh, this is the final product of one of the temporary dike sections, which has uh, which has been completed. So, in conclusion. The Xbox Plus is a novel uniformly placed interlocking army unit. It has intrinsic safety and design as well as resilience to climate change. It is of circular use uh, with a reduced carbon footprint and its construction efficiency with reduced placement times and costs is evident. Uh, if you have any questions or, or comments, uh, please feel free to contact me through the chat or via my email. Thank you.